Right, what is going on guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A, and uh, I'll be showing you how, how I bench 40 kilos over my body weight. So, I hope you enjoy the video. Right, what's happening? What's up? Right, so, we are going to be doing a little Q&A type of thing. So, let's just get started. So, one of the first questions is... Uh, some fella saying kind of random but wanted to say I like your content. Well thanks bro. Yeah. I get a lot of uh, very weird people ask me weird questions. Like some girl said follow me with an angel face. And some other fella just put in like a rolling dice emoji so no. Um some uh, Jake Royce um asked best best food to eat for bulk and try uh Get high calorie foods, like have a big breakfast, have a huge breakfast. Like, I recommend, like, have a protein shake along with your breakfast, right? So, like, because if you're, I know you're, I know you're only starting the gym recently, so I won't, I don't, like, I don't think you should track your calories just yet. Like, I don't track my calories, like, I don't think I need to yet. Like, later on this year, I will, when I'm cutting and after for a lean bulk. But I think, uh, have a big breakfast, eggs. Maybe with bagels, well that's what I usually have because you get carbs in or protein all the whole lot. And have like a pro small protein shake. Maybe if you have a weight gainer, like a weight, weight slash mass gainer, you can just, you know, have that as well. Like that would put, like, boost your calories so, so high, like, you know. <sighs> so, another uh, question is from Kevin. I can't pronounce your second name, I'll butcher it. What's your favourite gym you ever went to? Uh, probably Animal Barbell, best gym I've ever been to. Like it's a bit, it's a bit of a dirty gym, but old, old school, hardcore. You can train there. Like you can, you can bang out the hardest sessions ever. Bench presses are good. Big dumbbells are good. Dumbbells are nice metal dumbbells, like heavier than the under dumbbells in like other gyms. Like I remember when I was doing, I was doing like thirties. On the incline, incline bench on barbell, I felt weak. I was like, I thought this is really heavy, right? But when I went back to like bend on, I was find myself repping thirty sevens for 12, 13, 14, 15 reps. Like, like that's after a barbell closed down. Like that's just that's what a hardcore old school gym does to you. Like it didn't have like many cardio equipment, but I always like got my cardio in there. Hip PRs there, squatting very good there, deadlift was there is good. I, I that's why I didn't deadlift back then though. I wish I did. So let's see what else we have. Who is your favorite Instagram icon? I actually have no clue. I uh, I think it'd be David Laid. I think it'd be David Laid because he like I remember he was like one of the first people I seen along with uh, Simeon Panda. Simeon Panda, he's, I think he's my favourite, he's like the top dog. I always watch his YouTube videos, I saw his workouts and all that. Like, like, I just look up to him as a, as a role model, like, even though like, he, he, he does a bit of juice, but like, I, don't, I, don't, like, I don't dislike him because he's on steroids. Um, let me see. Some fella said the weirdest dream you ever had. Uh, oh, I've had a bunch of weird dreams. I had very weird dreams. I don't know, like, I have a bunch of weird dreams. I just don't want to share the mad dreams I've had with you because I'll probably get demonetized and uh, better get fucked off YouTube. Dan Bivol, Biv, Bivol said, sorry if I butchered your second name. Uh, he said, How do you warm up before session? So, like, some people um warm up like. They warm up their fingers. I see people warm up their fingers, arms. Like I recommend you warm up their whole body, your neck, legs, hamstrings, glutes, quads, calves, everything, ankles, everything. Like I try to do it. In, I try to do my whole body, but like, being honest, most of the time I forget. I know most of you guys forget as well. So yeah. And Alex Cholo, the greatest, uh, said, "Where do you see yourself in one year?" And this time next year, I see myself with over 500 subscribers. Well, hopefully, um, a qualified PT, having a car, working in a gym, making nice cash. You know what I mean? <sighs> like I see myself doing a lot of things one year. I see myself progressing, like physically, mentally. I see myself being a lot more mature. 
in two years in like a year time so like a year can change so much like this time last year like i like i actually can't believe how it was this time last year compared to now like right let's see what else we have what's your favorite sports brand it has to be gymshark gymshark is my favorite but it's it's a, it's very expensive like like say stringers that's they're about 20 euro that's different but like a tracksuit bottom tracksuit bottom is 50 euro like hoodie like 50 euro like i'm trying to save money like so Whenever like a sale comes on or a black that Black Friday sale, like that's when you're meant to like wackling like, destroy like the gym shark stuff. What else? And I get a lot of people ask me on my DMs like, oh bro, how do I get bigger and all this? I'm not gonna name anyone because like, I just don't like expose people like that. Um like uh some people just start the gym, oh how do I start with the gym and all this and I, I just t I say get you get make yourself a routine, look up workouts, like say for like like I, I literally tell people to do this on a Monday, do chest, shoulders, and triceps. Tuesday, back and biceps, legs, Wednesday, and then so on. Like, do that again uh, Friday, Saturday, no, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, yeah. But uh, a lot of, like, a lot of people don't know what exercise to do, and I recommend everyone look up, even look on my Instagram, like, I have loads of, I have lot, not workouts, I have a few workouts for shoulders, legs, some of my old workouts, uh, shoulders, like maybe arms, like, and chest and back, like, um, you look at all them big, big uh, Instagram people, like, on a Simeon Panda, um, Ulysses, or whatever, I, I can't pronounce any of the, the long dreadlocks, the mad abs, Koi Green, all of them, like, everyone, like, um, have mad workouts, you can just look up at people on Instagram when you're, like, when you're starting, that's what I done. And there's a fella named Brian Da Costa. It's like a fella, like some uh, flat on the beds from Brazil, I think. And I think his page is full of workouts, I believe. And some people ask me, what do I eat? Like my uh, diet isn't the greatest. It isn't the best diet, but I think like when I, cause like I only started going really, really hard on this book about two months ago. Yeah, two months ago, like because I was eating, I was eating quite well. Like I remember when I finished cutting, I was eating fine, chicken breast, rice. I was eating good. I was eating fruit. I eat fruits every day. Like that's like I grow, I grew up eating fruits, fish. If you if you incorporate fish, chicken, and a few red meats in your diet, not a lot of red meats, because there's a lot of controversy on red meats nowadays. Like all oh, cancer, all that, you know yourself. I recommend. Have red meats like two to three times a week, like a steak or something like that. Because red meats have, uh, they like, they have cre it's like it's I won't say red meats have creatine in them, but it's basically like that. And uh, like, yeah, have like have a routine for your food. Like, see, every day I put I have bagels and eggs. It's not because I have to do it. It's because I like it. I actually like eating that, and it's good. It's good to eat as a bulk. And like, say if you you can have like a, I I used to have mass gainers with my breakfast, but I oh, I remember I used to go to the gym straight after like breakfast, and I used to be like I used to look like a fat. I used to look so fat in the gym. People used to look at me like, what the fuck's wrong with his belly? Do you know, like I remember I was so bloated in the gym, like, but um yeah, like no, I was very very bloated. Like I used to be very bloated. Now I have my like protein shakes, all that, all that stuff. Um after my dinner like I had that as my very last meal of the day like very last meal I don't even to be honest I call it a meal because it has it's so like it has so many calories 1250 calories per shake like that's a lot like like that it's a, a, lot, a lot of carbs as well so I have to, I have to try like lower my carbs during the day like in, in, on my breakfast I have like, the bagels like but say with my dinner with my dinner I literally have Steak. I literally have like say if I was gonna have steak for dinner, I'd have steak, no like no carbs beside it. I tried to have a bit of vegetable, few vegetables beside it, but I would not have carbs in my most of my dinners. Um, so it's like now that I'm I only started taking mass gainer again a couple of days ago because like, my mass gainer finished like two weeks ago, so I just went on normal whey protein because I have a lot of tubs of whey. Like I have a lot of protein pre workout in my house because um, because I sell pre workout and all that at the moment, so. DM me on Instagram, my Instagram be um, at the end of the video, and uh, yeah, um, like serious mass, that's the stuff I take, but if I was, if I was like say, starting the gym and I was like trying to lose weight, I would not go near protein shakes, never, ever, ever, no, no, never, 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 I, that's, oh, that's my take on it, some people would, but I wouldn't go near stuff like that, say if you're like really skinny starting gym, serious mass, get that.
I'm going to use all your growth. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little q and I have a few more little bits coming after this, so yeah, thanks for that. Right, uh, we are back and uh, now I'm going to explain how my bench got to 120 kilos. So first thing, program. Like I said in my last, like I said in my last video, you need a program. You need a program. Like simple, five by five, five sets of five reps. Starting a week, you can do for eight reps, and every two weeks, I've add 2.5 kilos. Simple. Now I'm going on a bit of a different program after I hit my 120 bench because you can't just be doing the same program over and over, over and over again. Your body will get used to it. So I made my own little program. At like if that program works, and if I hit a 130 bench by the end of my book. I will like show everyone my little plan that I made. I made a nice little plan. For, it's basically I'm not going to explain all of it because it's a bit of a secret. So my first, on my first band, my first chest day of the week, I do a strength day, and on my second chest day of the week, I do a really, 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 really high volume, like very, very high volume, like that just destroys the chest. So yeah. Uh, now I'm going to show you is my 120 bench. Three, two, one, go. Now that you have seen my 120 bench, it's very, very possible for someone at 80 kilos, even below to bench 120. Like I know, like I know of people that are like 70 kilos at bench 130. Like it's like it's not all in your genetics. Like people say, oh genetics, genetics, all that. No, no, no. Because some people like some people literally like it's form. Some people have mad form. Like what's what's that fella's name that? That's Jim, that's like 19 and go, that's like Jim Shark, like a Jim Shark athlete. John, you know that fella, James English, he's, he's like, I think he's a lower weight than me. I think he's about 75 kilos, he mentions about 160. Like, that's, that's nuts, like, maybe he could be taking something, but I don't really know, I don't really care. Like, even if you take something, I don't care, like, uh, you're still human, I don't give a, I don't care, like. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, it's all about form. Like in my that video that you seen a couple of seconds ago, I did not use leg. I barely use leg drive because I have a bench mat from Mark Bell Slingshot. It's basically a like little mat that has a lot of like it's like really grippy. If you put it on the bench press, it won't slide off. Well, obviously, if you're a big, huge fella, like using like obviously, I'm, I don't bench like fucking three hundred kilos, Larry Wheels type of thing. But for me, it's good if I can. I'm able to like start using my leg drive when I use a bench mat, like. It's not cheating, no anything. It's literally a mat that you put on the bench so you can have grip on your back. Because usually, when uh, on normal in normal commercial gyms, when you try to use leg drive, you slide back and you fall off the bench. Your bench lands on your be the the bar lands on your belly. Like that's not good. Like so I I've seen it happen to people. I know that I know like people that has happened to them. So yeah, um, like I think like it takes ages to get form right. Like if I I look at my form from a year ago to now. Cause I hit 115 like 10 months ago, but one, my 115 was like this. And I stop here and I sit like really slow. My 120 this year was like this, bang up. It literally took a second to come up. I I know I have 125, but I'm pushing that 130. Cause I, I tried 130, and I was like that much away from locking it out. That much away from like that like 130 kilo bench at 80 uh, like 80 kilos. Like I'll I'll be really happy if I get that. That'll be. 50 kilos over my body weight and if I get that by the end of my book I'll be delighted I'll be just so happy I can get I can get all the heavy dumbbells up on my own now yeah like it's just you need a program for all your lifts like deadlift squat bench like my lifts at the moment are 180 deadlift I didn't record that because I didn't I didn't think I was gonna hit it that day so I didn't bring any camera with me um 170 squat I actually haven't recorded a really heavy squat in a while and uh, 120 bench, which is which you've see, you seen it earlier, so yeah. Alright, so that was it for today's video, and uh, yeah, um, I'm just gonna jump into an edit for for yesterday's workout for uh, legs and a bit of shoulders. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. You love me, I tell her only partly. I only love my cat and my snowboard. I'm sorry, 93.